Passover is the most family-centered of all Jewish holidays, and that's the way it's always been. If you go all the way back to the book of Exodus to chapter 12, we're told that the Passover sacrifice needs to be eaten together in one house, the Bait Echad Yeachel. Even after the temple was destroyed and Jewish family life traveled throughout the diaspora, this family focus for Passover remained. Perhaps it is no coincidence that this Passover begins with the discussion of four sons, or four children, we would say today. There are indeed four different types of children, but there are also four types of parenting evidenced in this story. One type of parent is pedantic, telling the wise child every detail. One kind of parent is frustrated or impatient, barking at the child when their question doesn't please them. Another type of parent is uh, just curt just the basic facts, and a final type of parent is eager to engage the child, telling their own narrative and also speaking about the meaning for that child. Passover is a holiday when you might associate it with Moses, but in fact, the patron saint of the holiday is actually Elijah. Elijah is the figure who introduces the holiday in the Shabbat prior to Passover, known as Shabbat Haggadol. When we read these words from Malachi, the seal of the prophets, Behold, I send to you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great day of the Lord. What is Elijah's task? It is to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the hearts of the children back to their parents. In other words, Elijah is seen as a figure of reconciliation within the family. It's hard to reconcile this with the image of Elijah in the Bible itself, where he's very ferocious, killing off all the prophets of Baal and complaining about the people's faithlessness. But in the Passover Seder, Elijah appears at the very end of the Seder, when we fill that final cup of redemption we open the door and we come together as a family. <clears throat> Rashi says on that verse about Elijah that the reason that Elijah can bring this reconciliation is he teaches, um, that the parents should speak to their children with love and with favor and in this way bring them together. As we sit down together as families to celebrate Passover, uh, may all of our generations have tolerance for one another, engaging the curiosity of each other, not considering any question to be a stupid or a mean-spirited question, but rather helping everyone engage in the drama of the exodus and the future drama of the rebuilding of our people and the redemption of the world. Chag Sameach.